Hey guys, it's Jasmine. Welcome to my channel. So today I am super excited. I have some Fenty Beauty in my possession. So we're going to be doing a Fenty Beauty foundation review today. I'm also going to be sharing one of the matchsticks with you guys. So I have the matchstick and the foundation here. I am so excited. I went to Sephora 10 a.m. this morning and was the first person to make a purchase at my Sephora for Fenty Beauty. So I was so excited. Yeah. <laughs> So this launch is just so amazing to me. I'm going to put timestamps in this video so you guys can find different things that you may be looking for because I'm going to be blobbing, I feel like. So anyways, I'm so excited about this uh, launch. The foundation line is immaculate. Um, I was taken back because I follow some makeup blogs and also like on social media. I saw people saying how the line had so many, too many um, white shades and I just felt like I feel personally offended. Like what? The line is so even in my opinion and please look in store before you make those accusations because there are like t there are about 10 of each group so I believe it's like 10 light, 10 medium, 10 tan and then 10 deeper shades. This is definitely one of the most diverse foundation lines in history so please go check for yourself before you make any type of accusations about that. I mean, I had a difficult time picking out my shade because I had too many options. Like, I've this never been the case where I have too many options. I literally had too many options. I ended up settling for this shade, which is shade 400. For reference, I will leave some shades that I am below. In MAC, I am like an NC47, NC50. I like to mix the two together. In uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear, I wear Amber Honey, which is very perfect. So, those are like kind of my... Um, shades that I, I go by. In terms of beauty bloggers, I tend to be between Makeup Shayla and Jackie Ina. So this is what the foundation bottle looks like. It is a standard, one, actually it's 1.08 fluid ounces of foundation. So it's a little bit more than the standard size of foundation. It has this beautiful, it's kind of white, but it also has like pinky reflex to it on the cap. It's almost like, the, it's like white with a drop of pink in it almost and the whited the lighted the letter is in white as well it is a little bit raised the back just says shake well so you do have to shake this foundation before you apply it and um it's called the pro filter like i said it's a soft matte finish which it definitely is and the inside it comes with a pump mine's a little dirty but it does come with a pump which is really awesome you always love i always love a foundation that comes with a pump so yeah that's what the bottle looks like i love the packaging really nice and sleek and bomb and really nice i like the packaging of it it's really nice all right so this is what the box looks like in case you wanted to see yeah very edgy and rihanna-esque <laughs> and the top just says a shade which is 400 for me so yeah this is the packaging um and this is the packaging of the matchstick which i will also be talking about these do come in different colors different uh formulas and they all are magnetic so they stick to each other i don't have other, i only have one so i can't show you that but they do stick with each other it says fancy beauty on the top here fancy beauty in silver and the bottom just has the amount which is uh, 0.25 ounces of contour so this is what that one looks like it's a contour shade I'll show you guys here really really nice uh, the shade range is, is amazing I had a difficult time finding my shade because it was so many shades to choose from how I did it was basically I looked online at the description of each shade so that I had an idea before I even went in store so I had narrowed it down to four shades before I went into the store. I, I do have uh, yellow undertones so I basically looked for the ones with yellow undertones or warm undertones and I went towards those when I got in store. So the four that I settled between was 420 which is for deep skin with neutral undertones, 400 which is for deep skin with warm undertones and subtle red tones and then um, 450 which is for deep skins with warm undertones and lastly, 430, which, which is for dip skin with neutral undertones and subtle red undertones. So I tried in store for 20. It was definitely a little bit too deep for me. And then the next one I went for was 400 because I knew at that point that 
the other two would be too deep since 420 was already too deep so i went for 400 and this one was the one that was marketed as for deep skin with warm undertones and subtle red tones so this one matches me really really well i'm wearing it right now you can see it matches really really nicely if you're wondering what's around my forehead that looks a little more red it is not the foundation it is actually the matchstick so don't get that confused anyways i think it is beautiful it is definitely a matte finish it feels really nice on the face it looks like a filter it looks really really good it looks like really nice like high quality very really really, really beautiful obsessed with it so i think all the claims are accurate it's definitely medium coverage it's definitely a matte uh filter it will be good for all skin type skin types in my opinion but if you do have dry patches on your skin please exfoliate them because this is the type of foundation that's going to actually like keep everything put you know what i mean so yeah i did actually use it with the primer i asked for a sample of the primer to use it with the primer felt really good on my skin it didn't feel like silicone -y. it actually felt more like um not gel like but in between a gel and a, and a cream kind of consistency it fill in your pores but it does like kind of give you a nice glowy blur on your skin so yeah i like the primer so i probably will be picking up the primer eventually um because i feel like it actually makes everything look a lot better um, as you guys will see, I did forget to put primer on and the first time I applied the foundation, I had to wipe it all off. When I applied primer, it actually looked 10 times better. So yeah, the primer is actually really, really nice. And then I topped it off with the matchstick in the shade Espresso. This is the only thing that I feel like could use another shade. This is the deep, the deepest shade of matchstick, which is basically the, this one is a contour shade. So they are matchsticks that are shimmers matchsticks that are concealers and then matchsticks that are contours this one is a contour and it is the deepest one it's espresso and it is a um cool undertone which basically means it's more red undertones and i do have uh yellow undertones so i would really really love if she created one that was the same color in terms of deepness but with more warm undertones and i feel like that will make me so happy anyways i do like the way this blended out this product blends out super easy it is a cream but it blends out like a liquid as you will see in the video it blends out like super super quick and easy i loved it and um yeah that's basically it the foundation feels really good on my face it feels like it's gonna be on all day i will let you guys know if it did last all day i will update you guys on this video i'm not going to talk about the highlight and the lip gloss that i bought i will talk about that in tomorrow's video because i don't want to make this one super 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 long but i did pick up highlight and gloss as well so yeah <laughs> Also, if you typically go by what another blogger says in terms of your shade, I highly, highly, highly suggest for this foundation you go and find your perfect shade in the store because this is a case where there actually are so many shades that there might be one that matches you a little bit better than what your favorite um, skin tone twin would recommend basically this that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one bye fudge i freaking forgot to prom my face oh my goodness you guys okay so i forgot to run my face <laughs> i'm gonna just do a second take because i forgot to prom my face So I actually got a sample of the primer because I wasn't sure if I wanted to pick it up. I was so indecisive, so I decided to go with a sample of it. Hmm. It smells like it doesn't really feel like you know your typical primer. Like it doesn't have that silicone feel to it. It doesn't feel silicone like but it doesn't but it also doesn't feel like a moisturizer it feels actually really nice and um almost like a nice uh base hand and then i'm going to be applying dots all over my face
Okay, so the foundation blends out a lot better. It actually covers a lot nicer. Um, now that I have primer on, <laughs> it looks. Really Okay, so this is what it looks like with the one layer. The finish is supposed to be a velvet, soft velvet matte finish. It definitely feels like that. my concealer but next I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty matchstick in espresso to contour my face This blends out really, really easily. Like, it's a cream product, but it's actually blending out like it was like, like as if it was liquid, which is really good. So that is basically it you guys. I will All right, so I'm just gonna finish off a little, some makeup. That's basically it. I love it I think it's bomb. I think if you want to try it you can see for yourself It looks really really nice and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one Bye Oh snap